Hey guys, Kevin here again doing a quick review on the Intel Core i3-530. This is a socket LGA-1156 processor. It runs at 2.93 GHz with 4 MB of L3 cache. It has hyper-threading, so since this is a dual-core processor, the operating system will see it as 4 cores. I have it overclocked to about 3.78 GHz using a Cooler Master Hyper uh, Hyper 212 Plus CPU cooler. As you can see there, here are the specifications. Um, yeah, it's a pretty pretty amazing processor. It's got a uh, Intel graphics chip inside, running at 900 MHz. So you can use integrated graphics. As uh, yeah, as the Intel graphics media accelerator HD supports dual channel DDR3 memory, Intel Smart Cache, integrated memory controller, four-way multitasking. So yep, I just upgraded from the uh, really slow Pentium 4 LGA775 processor, one meg of L2 cache, so that was a slow processor. Now I really, I don't have the actual chip with me because it's in my system right now, but I will show you the stock fan that I did not use might do a giveaway on this, who knows. Put the camera down. Let me open this up. Okay. Here we go. Here's a stock fan. I'll take it out. There's some uh, pre-applied terminal paste there. Uh, as you can see, it's a really weak fan. This thing is weak. Let me put my finger, my thumb next to it as comparison. It's as thick as my thumb. A little thicker, maybe. But that's about it. So, it's really amazing how much little heat these things can generate since the stock fan is just small. It's very thin. I'm pretty sure the dual core Core i5s also have the same uh, stock heat sink. Here's the 4 pin PWM modulation CPU connector header. It uses 4 clips. Really don't like these. These are a pain in the butt to install. I would prefer a black, uh, back plate like the Cooler Master Hyper 212 Plus I'm using to overclock. Yeah, if you guys are gonna are thinking about overclocking, I strongly suggest you buy a aftermarket CPU cooler because this thing can you can really push this thing. I've heard people push it up to 4 gigahertz using air cooling, so 4.2 gigahertz, 4.4 gigahertz using air cooling, so you can really push these things. Intel has really done it this time. The Core i series of processors are really amazing. Um, I'll be doing a, more videos on it, showing you some games running on it. I have a 9800 GT paired up with this CPU, so yeah, so please check back later for that video. Uh, do remember to subscribe to our channel. It's Mr. Tech Reviewers, and this is Kevin signing out. Thank you.